Hello, everyone. If you can turn on your cameras, we want to see your lovely faces. Um, I have the pleasure of doing this call with Coach Rebecca. Let me put on my granny glasses so I can see what's going on. Erica, uh, Brenda, Patricia, Sylvie, Melinda, Zoom user, Alyssa, put your cameras on. We don't care. Look, one of my eyebrows is uneven. Um, threw some powder on. This is one of the great things about this business that we get to do is that we can look like whatever we want to look like and still there she is. It's Becca. If you are new to the Prove It family, um, type in our chat. If you know how to get to that chat, type in new. And before I forget, I'll just give it a few more minutes. It's oh, we still have two minutes. Um, so we'll get some people on, but turn those cameras on. We want to see your shining, beautiful faces in your pajamas. I've put up some Christmas trees already. So I'm for I put up tree number two. I have four more to go because I am obsessed Hi, with Christmas. Hi, <laughs> you, Alyssa, I literally just got out of the shower. You're not ready for this. Girl, we are ready for the towel wrap. I have a pink one. Look at you. Now that's playing full out. You are in, just got out of the shower with a towel on your head. I love it. Um, where are you guys watching from? Just type in the chat. No, not like your bedroom, the balcony, the kitchen, or in the breakfast area, but like, <laughs> where are you at? Like, I am in Texas. It's cold. I love it. And I have on, um, this is what I brought back from Boston. We were in a car in Boston for uh, LCD last month. I see Florida, Tennessee, mm -hmm. Idaho, Washington. Um, Y'all just keep commenting. Oh, sorry, that wasn't me. That was my dog that just made that sound. Massachusetts, Colorado. For, oh, it's free. Oh, New York. I don't know what that was, but my name is Shay, and you might see my name. And you might see my name. Some people here. Here's some echo. There we go. Um. I, like I just said, I am in Texas. I have been drinking ketones since um, June and I've been a part of this wonderful Prove It uh, family since July 25th of 2018. So a little over three years, um, best decision I ever made. And uh, I'm so glad that I get to do this with you and I get to do with Becca. We're gonna call this the BS Action Hour and that doesn't stand for bull. It stands for Coach Rebecca and Shay Action Hour. We're gonna hoo So let's, um, Becca, because you're so bright and shiny. What's up, sister? What's going on, girl? Yeah, we're the only BS that should be on this Action Hour. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And who, who was in a towel? I think that's an awesome post. You should take yeah. a selfie with the towel on your head and post about how you get to work your business. You don't have to get dressed up. You can work your business from home with your towel on your head, no matter what time it is from your phone. Look, everybody's nodding in their head. So next time y'all are getting out of the shower, I expect to see everybody's towel heads on the, on the Facebook, oh on the book of faces. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I am plugging in from South Florida today. I am from New Hampshire and we're down here. We rented, um, we have a townhome down here, but we rented a big house, a palm tree paradise house for this weekend for, um, we're in Delray Beach. We're in Fort Lauderdale. We rented a palm tree paradise house with a pool for it factor. Is everybody going to it factor? Everybody attending that? We're doing a watch party. We're going to do a costume party. If you're down in this area, hit me up and you are more than welcome to come join us and watch with us at the house. Um, super excited for this action hour though. Shay, what do you got for us? You want, um, what do you want to do, babe? You'll be in Florida, but I will be in Lake Tahoe 
watching it factor. If you have not seen Joseph McClendon III, tickets are still available. It is a virtual event. He will, can I say this? He will light a fire under your ass. You will have to shake it. You will have to stand up, put your books down. Like he will get, like I'm getting goosebumps right now. Um, events are super, super important. It will reignite and ignite and ignite and put so much more um, value into your brain and how you run your business. I mean, it's just, I come out a completely different person. So if you haven't gotten a ticket, there's tickets still available. Check with maybe your uplines, your leaders. They might be having like smaller watch parties like Becca is doing and then Nick is doing for us. Jamie, I see you. I can't wait to hug your face. I see Lisa. Sally's on here somewhere. There's Sally. She's blowing me kisses. So I'm super excited. I've never been to Lake Tahoe. I got my snow boots ready and I'm like ready to go. Um, but let's dive into this action hour. Um, who is not familiar with, now I know I've said this before, it's called warming your feed. But when I was first new, I thought they told me to warm my feet, like to get my feet warm and get cozy and get ready to like work my business. So I'm like, why do they want me to warm my feet? So it's called warming up your feet or warming your feed. And it's something that you should do on a bit daily basis, not just on the um, action hour calls. And to put it in a nutshell, what warming your feed means is you go in and you post something on your Facebook wall. It could be a quote. It could be um, like for me, how many trees do you put up and is it too early? And people like to vote and answer questions. So that what that does is get you in the Facebook algorithm out. You know what I'm saying? Algorithm. That's like trying to say hyaluronic acid. Um, and Facebook will think, oh, this person is engaging with other these people. So I'm going to put them in their feed. Um, so let's take like a few minutes. Um, we'll put three minutes on the clock and just post something on your um, Facebook page. It could be a question. It could be a poll. Um, I've seen a lot of people say, um, is it too early to put up a Christmas tree? What are your thoughts? Or um, what was your costume for, uh, you know, Halloween? And are you going to do it again next year? But it's just some kind of question that gets people to want to comment and want to answer people are nosy and they want to give their opinion like i put up a tree last week one tree and the one tree today and they're like what about thanksgiving what about it i'll put a turkey on my tree it's fine so we'll take um becca do you want to set your timer if anyone has questions about what to do to warm up your feed um you can also once you post go in and comment on people's stories that are non-prove it because you don't, has anyone ever noticed that there's days where you see nothing but other provers post in your feed? I'm very guilty of that because I love to watch what other people doing and comment and caring. The way to get out of that is to go and comment on people that aren't prove it. So non-provers like it, comment, same thing with stories. And that once again, will trick Facebook to think, oh, you're engaging with these people. So now you want to see this. So we'll take um, three minutes. Becca, I lost you on the screen. Oh, they, wait, there you are. Um, let me set a timer for three. We'll do this three minutes because we want to get into three, not three hours. I want three minutes. Okay, there we go. We start, we've got three minutes. And if you get done with your post on your Facebook page, you can also put 
an engagement post, a poll or a question in your stories. That will also get you in that algorithm so you're not seeing just prove it people, you'll see other stories. And there's a method behind this madness also. All right, got my Christmas tree post up. Is that me? Hey, Christy, can you hit mute for me, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. I was looking for it. I was like, where's that coming from? Me too. It's a robot. All right. There is the timer. Did everyone um, get their engagement post up either on stories or on Facebook? Yes, Sally, both. It will change both algorithms, your stories and then your um, Facebook post. Does anyone have questions about warming up the feed and, and what is the value of doing that and what it's the purpose is. Sorry, my dog. Nope. Okay. Story. Yes. Joy story or a feed. So the purpose is to get in the algorithm and get your post into as many feeds as people and you want to post it public. Sorry. I forgot to say that always post your things publicly because if someone's like, does a search of whatever those are looking for, your post could pop up and you want everyone to see that because you don't want to limit it to just your friends list. We want to be able to have access to the world, the entire world out there. Okay. Does every, and Becca's going to go over this, I believe, does everyone have a rhino tracker printed out. And if you don't, do you know where to get it? Ooh, look at that. I see some rhino trackers. Awesome, awesome. I started, this was my one for the first contest that um, I want to almost said Keto Papito, Sally. Not everybody knows him as Keto Papito, the Keto Dad, Nick Martinez. Um, this, is, this is something that I didn't think was necessary. I thought, I can remember it in my head. I can just go back and look at my messages. But when this was basically said, do this, your business will change. I'm going to reiterate, do this, your business will change. Write down every single person that you've made a message with or a text with or a family member that you talked to about it. And there's different sections of the Rhino Tracker. For those that don't have it, you put the date and their name. And there's these three little boxes. Step one, you would send the campfire video. Step two, connect. Basically, it's ACE, but it's on here. And when I compare this for my entire month of October to this, where I just have day two and I'm not done yet, I'm like, what? This is great. So imagine if you filled this whole thing up and you made that many connections and then you helped those people that enrolled also get the free ketones and they did their form. I mean, it's just, it's amazing, but it's Rhino Tracker and it has so much to do with the um, guest call tomorrow, which Rebecca is going to go over. Yes, Liz, that is in the Better Starts Here group. And since my printer is kind of wonky, you can take, I guess the, the jig, is it called a jig? 
it's not a GIF to like FedEx or CVS and like it's a gig and have them print. JPEG. There you go. A gig, a jig, you know, let's all take a swig. Something, let me take some more tones. But have a bunch of them, you know, massively produce these out. If you have local promoters that join your team, this should be in their welcome pack. Like start them out right and get in the habit of using this Rhino tracker to keep track of their progress and who they're, who they're having connections with and if they're connecting. This one is better. Which one, Sherry? This one or this one? This one's squares are different than this one. But anyway, Becca, I'm gonna, um, I had a ketone really late, like 15 minutes ago. So I'm like, let's go. We're gonna give you, we're gonna give you the B. You're the doing S. amazing. I love that. Um, the question in the chat box says, where can you find the Rhino Run Tracker? It's in Better Starts here under files. It's the very top one, Rhino Run Tracker 3.0. Um, and don't forget, like if you fill those out, there's going to be contests. He, if you guys were on the call last night, he's drawing names for people are, who are filling out their Rhino Run Tracker and turning them in. So um, whether you get a week done, whether you get six of them filled, whatever, make sure you're you're tracking that because he is going to be rewarding people for that. So I don't know about you, but I like rewards. Yes, good prizes too. Um, so we just got off a really awesome call tonight, the champ call, uh, the COC call. And I'm super, super fired up because who here likes to earn money? Who here likes to earn more money on top of the money they're already earning? Yeah. Hello. Okay. So good. Awesome. Yay. Holiday season is here and it fires me up because I was a single mom for 10 years. When I started this business, I was broker than a joke, right? And I needed money and I started around this time. And so when I came in, they were launching all of these promos who likes promos, especially when they deal with money for us, right? They were launching, launching all of these promos. And so it gave me the ability to make enough money to um, cover, I needed heating fuel. I got heating fuel and I was able to provide a Christmas for my family, so my son. So we just got off a, a champ call where they dropped a big promo for anyone. If you are um, ranks one through six, drop a one in the chat, drop a one in the chat, okay? That's me, I'm a, I'm a six. Yep, one, 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 one. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. 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 I see it. Okay, I see you. Marsha, Kristen, Jean, Clarissa, Rhonda, Goldie. Okay, awesome. So we got a bunch of you on here. That means that you have the ability to make an additional $500 this month. Who wants an additional $500? Hello, I do. I do. Okay, so it's super simple. It's gonna take you doing the actions on a daily basis, like filling out that Reiner Run Tracker, okay? So the promo that they dropped, stay tuned to your pulse because it's going to, all the details are gonna be in there. Yep, watch your pulse tomorrow. Um, all the details are gonna come out in there. Um, it's very, very simple. Do the daily activities that we teach you on these calls, like having the conversations, filling in that Rhino Run Tracker, and you'll be able to smash this promo and earn that extra money easily by sponsoring three new customers um, with 50 BV, I believe. Um, I don't have all the details, so so stay tuned. I don't mark my words on the details, but it is three new customers and two promoters that come in on a pack, okay? And you and they must have smart ships. All three customers have to have smart ships set up, and the new promoters have to have smart ships set up, and you will earn an additional five hundred dollars. Like, does that sound doable or what? That is amazing. Three new customers, two new promoters and you earn an additional $500 on top of everything else. Like, so I'm super, super fired up about that. One of the tools that we utilize aside from the Rhino Run Tracker to get people in front of the information, right, is the Wednesday night guest call. Does everybody know about the Wednesday night guest call? It's 8.30 Eastern, okay? 
8.30 Eastern and whatever time zone you're in, it's that time for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't ask me because I will be confused and I'll confuse you. So you figure that out. I know it's 8.30 Eastern. Wherever you are, you do the math, okay? Numbers, ouch, no. Um, so at 8.30 tomorrow night, we have a guest call. We volunteer our time. We volunteer our time to put on these calls for you for you and for your customers, right? So it's not just for new people, but it's also for your customers as well. So I have some scripts I'm gonna drop in here for you. The biggest thing that we can do is invite people, right? We have the conversations, but we invite people to take a look at the information, right? So we can start conversations all day long. We can have conversations all day long with people. But if we never invite them to take a look at the information, those conversations are considered social conversations, right? If you're not having ketone conversations or business conversations, those are social conversations. I love social conversations, trust me. I, I am the girl who every single teacher said she's a distraction in class. That's me, okay? But to build this business to a level where it is paying you like a business, you need to be having ketone and business conversations. So it's the conversations that turn into the ask, the invite, right? So we're going to teach you here how to invite people to come and just check out some information. And it's super non-salesy. It's no pressure, right? It's asking them to come and take a look at some information, get educated, and then give you their feedback on what they hear, okay? So these calls are an amazing, amazing way for them to not only get the information and the education, but also to get the feel of this community. You guys are amazing. Celebrate yourselves for being on here and having your cameras on. I am feeling each and every single one of you. I see smiles, I see movement, I see people. I love people, right? And so they're gonna get that same engagement on this call tomorrow night. So you guys ready to learn how to invite to this call? I love you, I love you. Oh my gosh, I feel it. Okay, so I'm gonna drop some scripts in here. You guys can copy and paste them. The goal here is to get as many, now, here's the other piece, right? This is a numbers game. I talked about numbers a few minutes ago. The goal is to get this line packed. Like, let's max out the Zoom tomorrow night. Does everybody here know Carrie, Carrie Wynn? That's my best friend. He is amazing. His energy is incredible. He's doing the call tomorrow night. I don't know if he's on this call. I don't think he is. So let's surprise the crap out of him by how many people we get onto that call tomorrow night, okay? He loves people and he loves attention and he loves love. So let's pour into him by packing the line, okay? I'm gonna drop in the chat um, a script. The first one I'm gonna drop for you is for current customers and people who you have given sample packs to. Okay, so this call again is for everyone. Now, it's a numbers game. You are going to invite as many people as you can. Say you have a 50% ratio of people who, who show up to the call, right? 50% of the people you invite. So if you invite five, then two are gonna show up, right? If you invite 10, five are gonna show up. So how many do you have to invite in order to get? You have like 30, I would, I would say it's like a 30 to 50%. If you're like me, if I'm really good, if I've been doing this every single week and inviting people, about 50% of the people I invite are going to show up. So if you're toward the 30%, you need to invite double, triple, quadruple, right? I want you to double the amount of people who you want on the call and invite that many. Double that again and invite that many. Double that again and invite that many. You have 23 hours to do this. Yes, you're going to sleep some of them. Yes, we need to rest, close our little eyeballs and get some rest, shut our little brains down for a moment. And then in the morning, start inviting again. Use these scripts and these tools all day tomorrow, okay? So you can invite current customers. Why? because we wanna help them get their ketones for free. And if they get in on 
this call, they might feel this community's love, feel the power of the people, right? And they might be like, I want to do that too. I want to do that too. So it always could be an opportunity for a customer to upgrade to a promoter. You need two promoters this month to get $500, three customers, two promoters, invite your customers. They might upgrade on their own. You might not even have to do the work. Let the call do the work for you. So bring your current customers on by utilizing this script, okay? Super simple. I'm glad you're loving your ketones so far. We have an awesome guest call tomorrow night that you can just put an earbud in and listen and learn a little bit more about how to get the most out of your experience. If I sent you the link, would you want to hop on? Not salesy, right? No pressure, not pushy, just asking, just inviting, okay? So this next one is going to be for your smart ship customers. So um, again, we want to help them get their ketones for free. New volume that comes from your smart ship customers is going to flow up to you. Who wants to hit multiplier and get an additional 250 or $1,000 this month? Me. Hi. Hello. On top of another 500 that we're going to get to. Hi. Hello. Woo, we all are looking rich. We looking mighty rich on this call, okay? Jeez Louise, Christmas, what? We are gonna be driving Lambos and stuff this year. I don't know, this is amazing. Here we go, okay. Um, so <laughs> yes, yeah, slay, slay all day. Wait, slay like Santa's slay? Oh, <laughs> you get that one? <laughs> okay, so let me just drop this one in here. Can you think of a few friends we can invite to our guest call tomorrow night to simply learn more? Hold on. So the idea, I, don't, I can't, oh, it did, it double copied. Hold on, let me, let me do it once so you guys can just copy and paste it. Uh, do you want to start drinking keep free ketones every month? Can you think of a few friends we can invite to our guest call tomorrow night to simply learn more? The idea is for them to start doing the action of going and making a list or looking through their friends list or looking through their contacts and seeing who they know that could deal could uh, benefit from better energy and better health. Right. That's always what I ask my people. Hey, who? Okay, well, who you want to get them for free? Awesome. Who do you know that could benefit from better energy and better health? That's it. I don't even go into fat loss, this or ketosis, that or no, better energy and better health, right? Who do you know? Everybody, hello. Everybody can benefit from those things. If you have a pulse, you can benefit from ketones, just saying, <laughs> right? So getting them into the mindset of going out and finding a couple of people to invite to this call. Then they're going to see how simple our business model is. That's all we do every week. If they just invite a handful of people to this call, if we just invite a handful of people to attend these calls every Wednesday night, we're going to grow a massive business. That's just, that is just the way it is. Like it's the laws, right? Invite them to the call. Let them listen to the stories that are going to be shared, right? We have people that share their stories that are life-changing on here. Um, so we're going to help these people get their ketones for free. I always tell people I'm a professional at helping people drink ketones for free. That's what I love doing. <laughs> okay. And then this one is to reach out to someone who you have not yet had a conversation with. Okay. Okay. Super simple. Hey, Susie, not sure if you've been following my health journey, but I'm feeling amazing and have uh, having a blast helping others feel better too. I thought of you because I think you really love this. If I sent you a link to listen and learn a little bit more about ketones tomorrow night, would you come check it out? Super simple. Hey, I thought about you because I think you'd really love this. I'm not sure if you've been following my health journey or not. But I thought about you. If I sent you a link, would you just listen in and learn more? Super simple. Just ask. Okay. Just ask. That is the biggest thing here. Have the conversations, but don't forget or be fearful of asking them. 
to check out the information. That's the connect part. You can attract people all day long. You can have these converse, you can have conversations with them. But if you're not asking, you're just praying that they're going to ask you, they might not ever ask you. You might miss out on an opportunity to help radically change somebody's life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or financially. Right? And and celebrate the no's, y'all. Celebrate the no's. Why? Because you can sort and sift them. You can say, okay, great, thanks. You can even ask them, would you like to be on my VIP guest list for when the Black Friday sales drop or for future calls? Okay, great, awesome. Timing's not right for you, totally understand. Would you like to be on my VIP guest list for future sales deals or flavor drops? You never know. Now could just not be the time. No doesn't mean no forever. It means not right now. Okay. And this is my last script that I'm going to drop for you. This is another one that I, um, I utilize to reach out to people who I haven't yet had a conversation with, or maybe I have had a conversation with, but it was a while ago and they never followed through or whatever. Um, hey, what are you doing tomorrow night at 830? I let them respond to me first. Okay, and then I go through and I say, so that it's a back and forth conversation like you would normally do. You wouldn't just go up to somebody, hey, what are you doing tomorrow night at 8.30? Are you hosting a really fun call? Blah, 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 blah. Like you'd ask them, what are they doing? You'd listen, then you'd respond. We're hosting a really fun exclusive call with the community I'm a part of that will be going over the benefits of the ketones that I drink with some valuable information and powerful stories shared. If you could be a fly on the wall and learn a little bit more about how you can get your body in ketosis without the diet, would you jump on as my guest and give me your feedback? Yeah, word vomit. We don't want to word vomit. Don't bombard them, right? Don't bombard them. Ask them, have a conversation. They're human beings. Just because they're through a screen doesn't mean that they're not human beings, okay? Ask them a question, let them respond. This one I love. Why? Because it says that it's an exclusive call. So it's telling them that they're important and special because you asked them, right? It says that there's going to be valuable information. That word valuable for some reason stands out to people and powerful stories shared. Okay. And then at the end, it asks for them to jump on as your guest and give you your, their feedback. So it's no pressure right? There's no pressure, but you are asking them to pay attention, listen, and then you can follow up with them and ask for their opinion, their feedback, what they heard that they loved, what stood out most to them. Okay. So there's that script. So the goal here, right, is to, like I said, double, double again, and double again how many people you're inviting in the next 23 hours to this call. Why? Because we have this month, we have so much money on the table, number one for ourselves, but number two to help other people get right now. If somebody didn't offer me this opportunity in November of 2018, I would have been without heat in New Hampshire for much longer than I was. My heat had run out. I could see my breath. I would not have been able to give my son a Christmas and I definitely would not be here as a car earning champion today. Okay. So remember that you never know. I would make it look good on the outside. You never know who needs this more than you do. Right. So go and share this and invite people because it might be that one call that changes their entire life. Like it was for me. So cool. Any questions on that? I rambled a lot. Becca, I have a quick question. This is Candace. So could that be this recent script that you're just talking about? Could we send that to somebody, even though they have no idea what ketones are? We've never sent them the campfire video, even someone like that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Um, and they might say, I don't know what that is. What's a ketone? What, you know what I mean? And uh, my response is always, OMGs, these things are a game changer. My energy is through the roof. I've never felt better. My focus is on point. It's like my brain is plugged into high definition. 
right? If I shot you over a quick video, would you take a look at it? I think you're gonna love this. Just excitement, share a little blurb about what the benefits are that I receive from them and shoot them over the campfire video if you want to right then and there, right? But the idea is it says, it says right there, like the benefits of the ketones that I drink and that they're gonna learn about what they are on the call. So a lot of times people will be like, sure, right? Sure. Um, thank you. Yes. Um, some people will say, sure. Like shoot me over the information pro tip. I do not send out the call link until 15 minutes before the call. I do confirm with them two times in between. I will send them a message after they say, sure, I will jump on the call. I'll be like, okay, awesome. I'll shoot you over the information as, as soon as I get my hands on it. I already have the information. It's the same every single week, <laughs> but I don't send it until 15 minutes before the call. In the meantime, I check in. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for tonight. Like, are you excited or whatever? I always ask them, are they excited or get them excited, right? And so thanks, Liz. I love you. Um, so I always have two confirmations in between when they say, yes, they'll jump on the call. And before I send out the call information. Okay. So get the yes, get confirmations in between, and then send them the call information 10 to 15 minutes before the call. Why? Because they will be active and on and ready and attentive. Okay. If you just send them out the information, it's going to get lost along the way. If, if somebody sent me call information at three o'clock and asked me to get on the call at 830, I would be like in bed already or something. Like I would not remember. I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Or you can be like, awesome. Like set a reminder in your phone and I'll reach out to you at this time or whatever. You know what I mean? But you want to get confirmations from them in between and don't give them the call link until right before it and confirm that they're going to be on that call. Okay. Rebecca? Yes. One other thing, I always forget about this because I get so excited about sending the, the, the message out about inviting. There are going to be some people that either work a night shift or they work a split shift and they can't attend the call and there's scripts for that, or as we say, wording for that, we're like, oh, I totally get it. Um, if I could get a link for the replay, would you watch it? So you're still keeping that conversation open. Maybe they can't attend live on that Zoom call, but there's a replay. So you're still keeping that seed planted in that message. But speaking of messages, let's take five minutes and message five people that you've either not ever had conversations with or had a conversation with and they didn't get on a call and they didn't do the replay and just follow up with them and say, oh my gosh, tomorrow is going to be so excited or whatever your scripting you can use. Um, Becca's, I know Christina is on here. Uh, you have some amazing scripts as well. I was on an action hour when you were doing this, inviting to the guest call as well. Um, and like, uh, somebody said, if you don't say, Hey girl, obviously just conform it to what, how you would speak, you know, in, in your language, like me, I, I use, Hey girl, Hey girly, Hey, hot mama, guess what? You know, just tailor it to how you would speak. So and who's, who's a scared, who's a scared to send five messages? I am. Where are you guys going to find your people? You're going to go to the post that you just made and see who's commenting on your post. I put up, is it too early to start decorating for Christmas? I have seven likes and 13 comments. I'm going to go message those people. Why? Because they're on, they're live, and they're active. They're responding to my post right now. So I'm going to go talk to those people because they're awake and they're active on Facebook right now. Okay, so let's go five minutes and send out at least five messages. See how many you can get done. And if you get a yes, I want to see you celebrating in the chat. Drop it in the chat. Say yes, I got a yes. And we will celebrate with you because we celebrate every single yes. You can also use the green light um, method. If you go to your messenger and you see at the top all these green lights, all of those people are online right now, which means they're on messenger. So that way, you know, they're going to get the message. 
we use that green light method also other than the people that are commenting. So there's several different ways, or you can just go through your phone list. If you have friends and family that have kind of just been like, no, no, just say you have to get on this call. You, you know, you're going to learn so much information from here. So I will set the timer for five minutes and I'm scared, but I make myself do it. So let's go.
And Becca, you don't want us responding to anybody right now. It's just best to get all the messages out right now, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's um, a part that I did not talk about. So yeah, we're just sending the message out right now, sending out as many as you can. Um, oh, yay, Alyssa. Okay, that was our five minute timer. Sorry, just so in case people were still typing. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Becca? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, now I can. <laughs> um, I was just looking. We've got someone reached out from a story about keto cream. She's asking for more info. Yay, celebrate that. Alyssa got one. Yay, celebrations. Love that. Yeah, so this is literally something you can do when you're like sitting on the toilet, right? So this that's why we say you can build this in the cracks of your day, like your butt crack. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so literally you can sit on the toilet and you can send out these messages and then schedule time to go back for 15 minutes and reply to messages, right? So that's one thing that's really, really important, the follow-up. You can send out the messages, but again, you need to go back and follow up with them. And if somebody didn't respond to the message, like don't hesitate to reach out to them again. Facebook and Messenger and texting are moving platforms. How many times have you gotten a text message, read it, put it down, gone and done something, and then come back and forgotten that the text message was even there or the, or the Facebook message? everyone's doing that. It's not anything personal to you. Don't take offense to it. Shoot them another message. Hey, just checking in. Not sure if you saw my invite to the call last or um, tonight, like whatever. Okay. So don't hesitate to reach out and follow up with them. Awesome. What do you got, Shay? You got anything else for us? Um, I do. Oh, yay. Melinda. She got one. Yes. Also, um, I use this method. I should well, I'll be just totally transparent. I should use this method more often, but you can use this reaching out on a daily basis. And what I like to say is, hey, how are you doing? I just thought of you. I saw your post. Are you drinking ketones yet? And that starts that con. They're like, wait, what is ketones? Oh my gosh. I've got my hands on this stuff. I've been drinking it for however many years. I think you can really benefit from them. Then you can say, if I sent you a video, a quick video, would you watch it? And then let me know what questions you have. So you can use this method of reaching out, not just for a guest call, but in your day-to-day -day business. And that's when you would go and put that person's name on this Rhino tracker that, you know, you sent a message to them and then you, maybe you invited them to the call. Um, this is amazing. On this call, we've got how many, three people. And Melinda, I love that you um, got somebody that saw your story, not just a Facebook post. I think utilizing all levels of social media um, there's never too many. You can use Instagram, Instagram Reels, Instagram Story, Facebook, Facebook Stories, Facebook Reels, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Snapchat. I mean, you just never know who's sitting behind that computer that wants what we have. We have what they want. They just don't know it yet until someone, if you don't approach them, someone will. And just give them that opportunity to do that. Yes, there are. I will. <laughs> I'm going to race all of you. Let's go. <laughs> well, we know that everyone's time is valuable. We're sitting right almost at an hour. I'm super excited that everyone showed up and we were able to do this together. I am terrified to send messages out and people probably think, well, then how are you successful in your business? I just have to get comfortable being uncomfortable and I make myself do something a little bit further out of my comfort zone daily. And if you do that and make it a habit, like brushing your teeth or washing your hair or going to the bathroom or whatever, you get in that habit, then it just becomes natural for you to just start reaching out. I mean, Lori, I'll say this, Lori will talk to a wall. If that wall will say, yeah, I'll try it. Like she, she's like that go getter, just boom, boom, boom. I've seen her in action, just talking to anybody. And you can use these methods in person. This is not just social media belly to belly, face to face. Oh my gosh, I love that blouse. And you're sitting there wearing a proving gear and the lady goes, oh, ketones, is that keto? Mm -mm, girl, no, it's, it's drink versus diet. Let me tell you, I have a cheat code 
that will get you right into ketosis and you don't even have to follow a keto diet. There's just some, I mean, we could go on and on and on, but um, I thank everyone, Becca and I, the BS crew for hopping on this Zoom. And I hope you got some value out of this. And um, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the guest call and next week's action hours. Bye y'all. Thank you ladies. Bye.